Hi Capricorn. Welcome to your love reading. This is the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading. May or may not resonate with every Capricorn watching this video. <clears throat> Some of the energies of the cards are going to be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies vice versa. And if you do need a personal reading, that information is going to be down below in the description box. Okay, Capricorn, let's see. <coughs> you're manifesting something. Whatever you're manifesting, it's coming in with Ace of Cups. So you're probably manifesting this brand new beginning. You probably even want to talk to someone. You want to message someone or you want to take action towards someone. There's a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry between you guys that I see. And there's a reconciliation coming in if you guys haven't reconciled as yet. But yeah, there's someone here who wants to reconcile. They want to be together with you. They want to get together. They want to hang out. But this looks like a reconciliation more than like hanging out. <clears throat> Someone's rushing in with communication. In the near future, we, <coughs> we do have Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups doesn't always walk mean walking away from a person. It could mean walking away from a situation that doesn't make you happy, right? But right now, with the Five of Wands here, I feel there's some kind of, um, like a mismatch. Or like there's just some kind of uh, clashes, you know? Like you guys are not on the same page. Or there's just too many people involved in the scene or too much drama. Disagreements, tension, diversity of some kind, okay? Let's see. What's the five of wands here? Why is this here for Capricorn? <clears throat> Why the five of wands? Ten of wands, yeah. See, it's getting worse. From the five, it's getting to the ten. So yeah, probably you guys are not on the same page. And now the situation is getting too much it's a very draining energy okay <clears throat> someone could be in their head with the eight of swords here. someone's feeling very stuck tied trapped bound to a situation or a person what's the ten of wands this is a burden this is a relationship that's becoming a burden what's the ten of wands here probably every single time you guys get back there's too much drama and chaos around the situation someone's listening to too many people or again i'm getting too many people involved here Ace of Pentacles, someone needs to let go of a situation <clears throat> before they have this brand new beginning here. See, this is what I got for Pisces too. You could be dealing with a Pisces. <coughs> Sorry. Someone's already in a situation and either this person needs to fight, either you both need to fight out your disagreements, you both need to come to the same page, which is clearly becoming a burden in order for this brand new beginning that is coming in. You have this potential here. Or someone needs to get rid of another situation before they can have a brand new beginning with you. And whatever that situation is, that situation involves a lot of drama. <coughs> One of you, both of you could be already married or could be in another commitment or another relationship. What's the King of Cups in the past? Definitely a lot of love here. There was partnership. You guys were probably building together, right? But again, I do see the three here, right? Which is again, could be a third party situation. There was a lot of getting together, stability, security. Okay, we also have the Queen of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. That's like a true pair situation. What's the three of pentacles? Someone wanted to restore balance, things were fair in the past, you guys were literally building and working together okay, towards a foundation. It was equal give and take, you were getting what you deserve. What's the Knight of Swords in the current situation? Yeah, see, see, this is exactly what I'm saying with the Knight of Swords and Five of Wands here. There is some kind of argument, there's some kind of conflict. <coughs> the Knight of Swords is someone who comes in, they say what they want, they leave. The Knight of Swords is someone who definitely does not deal with emotions. They're very rash, very rude, very harsh. 
and whatever they bring it right the way they communicate it it always creates conflict between you guys it always creates drama what's the five of wands what's the five of wands nine of cups but okay this person's coming in to offer you love probably this person's way or their approach towards you is rash you could be dealing with an air sign or a water sign right but while you're dealing with right so i think though their approach one second they're the knight of swords one second they're the knight of cups and that is something that gets you very confused okay because one moment they maybe they want to come in and they say things to you which gets you confused which gets you all up in your head and then they want to express their emotions to you or they want to come in they want to rush in with the five of wands here they want to fight for you and when they want to fight with you they want to fight for you and they want to come in and apologize okay this could be even be an apology to the knight of cups okay maybe this person is now rushing in and they're ready to fight for you they don't want you to go with the knight of cups and they're ready to uh, express their feelings to you knight of cups is also commitment ace of pentacles commitment cups in the near future the hermit yeah someone's ghosting someone's wanting some alone time someone wants some time to think about a situation the hermit is ghosting it's going back into your cocoon it's taking a very logical approach towards the situation so someone in the near future is going to disconnect emotionally for some time or just you know like cut the cord is what i'm getting cutting the emotional cord and wanting some alone time going getting back into their cave okay Wanting to do a lot of self introspection, trying to reevaluate the situation what, when, where, how, why. What's the hermit? Why the hermit? <coughs> the emperor here. In order to take control of the situation, someone probably felt that they lost control over the situation in the past and they did set healthy boundaries. Now they wanted to set in boundaries. And in order for them to set in boundaries, they feel the need to walk away from a situation and they feel some they need to take some time alone to think about a situation, withdraw their energies, okay? But right now you definitely have someone who's coming in, okay, which is either getting you confused because they're like one second they're the knight of swords, one second they're the knight of cups, and you're like, dude, like what the fuck? Choose what side. What's the magician? You're manifesting something right now. What's the magician? What are you manifesting? What's the magician here? Three of Swords. The magician. You're manifesting the Three of Swords. I think you're trying to. Um, you have an opportunity to make things right. Capricorn and that's what you're trying to do you're trying to heal from a situation and you're wanting to make a bad situation good what's the three of swords say you're wanting to put in the effort now so Capricorn you could be the one who didn't put in an effort before which could have lost a lot of which could have created a breakup or separation <coughs> someone had to walk away now you're wanting to heal <coughs> from a situation wanting to recover from a breakup you want reconciliation and you're trying to manifest this new beginning with this person with the page of pentacles you're wanting to put in the work or even apologize or even offer this person something stable something committed i have good cards here with the ace of pentacles the page of pentacles the knight of cups it's all good stuff Someone probably in the near future feels the need to, the only way they feel the need, the only way they feel <coughs> they can take control is by walking away for some time. Eight of Cups looks to me like temporarily walking away. It, that doesn't look like walking away from the person, but walking away, taking some time off in order to understand what's going on. What's the Three of Cups? What's the Three of Cups? Yep. Two 
Two of Swords. Someone's coming in for reconciliation. They need to make a decision. What's the Two of Swords? This person could be in their head for a very long time, okay? They could be stressing the shit out of you. But you're like their wish fulfillment, okay? This person could be stuck in their head for a very long time, but they're very clear about what they want. And I think what they want is you. They want a reconciliation. They want to get back to you. And so do you. You're both manifesting the same thing. You both want the same thing. But this person is stressing the shit out of it, okay? Or probably this person has a lot of remorse and regret about what happened in the past. They have you on their mind on a constant basis. They have like these sleepless nights. They know they need to make a decision, but I feel they are and they see things very clearly now. <clears throat> What's the page of wands? You're manifesting this reconciliation. What's the page of wands on your mind? Ace of wands, you've got a brand new slate. You want a brand new beginning with this person. And that's what you want to communicate. Look, three of cups at the bottom of the deck you want the same thing what's the ace of wands whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me one card. what's the ace of wands what is this ace of wands three of wands but you're waiting for this person to come in temperance you have a lot of patience you're giving this person time to come in towards you correct maybe you're manifesting this person but at the same time you're hurting because of whatever happened but they're coming in with an apology. They're coming to express their feelings to you, okay? And you probably even want this. You're ready to invest into this person. Or you look at this person as someone who's a little immature. When it comes to something stable. But you're waiting for them to come in. Because you both want the same thing, like I said, right? Three of, three of Wands, the Magician, both are manifestation cards. You're going to keep your cool. You're, you're playing cool right now. And you're just going to be like, you know what, I'm just going to wait for my ships to come in. Because you literally know they're coming back. What's the Ace of Cups in the likely outcome? Knight of Swords. See, again the Knight of Swords. You're dealing with someone who's a little in and out. Hot and cold. But someone definitely who wants to say what they want to, right? Someone who comes in with direct communication. But with the two of cups, you both love each other. This is mutual love. This is a soulmate connection. You both have a lot of love. It's just that one of you is a little emotional here and the other one's a little, you know, rude. Or probably they don't know what to say. They don't they don't say the right words, but they have the right intentions. What's the knight of swords? Page of cups. Say, finally, they're opening up. Thank you. They're opening up. They're ready to work on this relationship okay and this is like their wish come true you're like their wish come true they put you on a pedestal they're coming in with that love offer okay they're rushing in with communication and with the page of cups here looks like that's like an apology page of cups knight of cups commitment love offer opening up emotionally being vulnerable so yeah Capricorn, you have nothing to worry about. You guys are just, you guys are okay. Your manifestation is coming true. It's coming in. They're coming in with that stability, with that pentacle that you've always wanted. I think it's because in the near future, but in the near future with Eight of Cups, you're going to have to do a little bit of thinking, okay? You're going to have to make a decision is what I'm getting. to put your boundaries up with the emperor here in order to you know take control of the situation i'm feeling that the reason you need to go away or the reason you need to cut your cards emotional cards or uh, you know walk away emotionally temporarily is in order for you because that's your way of taking control of the situation you know because everything with the five of wands here twice too much conflict too much confusion too much disagreements, tension between you guys, okay? And again, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, again, dealing with someone who comes and says what they want, they leave. Then again, it gets you all confused. You don't know where you stand with this person. Again, this person comes in, you know, with like a love offer. So it's like, you know, constantly there's this inner conflict within your head, okay? They keep you confused. 
and that's something which you don't want and that's why probably you just feel the need to walk away from this person because the hermit can also be you know this could be giving this person mixed signals also okay the hermit also gives you mixed signals so yeah that's what i have for you gaps i hope this reading resonates with you like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye